好了，我们开始上课。今天呢，我们来学习第十二课。那 study second part。那么看一下 part 的部分 directions. You will hear five sentences. Each one will be read. Listen carefully and write down the missing words. 那么请大家呢来听空啊，完成句子。One. What's the main idea of the story? One. What's the main idea of the story? 这是我们经常会听到的一个问题。What's the main idea of the story? Main idea 就是我们所说的中心思想，那是什么 ？Two. Who seems to be doing the housework in the family? Two. Who seems to be doing the housework in the family? Who seems to be? 后面应该是一个什么 ？Doing 这样的一个动词。Two. Who seems to be doing the housework in the family? To be doing the housework in the family. 做家务活 ，do the housework. Number three. Three. How can I get to the Italian restaurant? Three. How can I get to the Italian restaurant? 我们在问路的时候会说 How can I get to? 怎么能去一个什么地方 How can I get to the Italian restaurant? Four. What are you majoring in? Four. What are you majoring in? What are you majoring in? 这句话呢是比较有用，希望大家能够会说。那 major 是动词，以什么为专业？那你专修的是什么？你的专业是什么 ？What are you majoring in? 如果想简单的说呢，你就可以用它的名词。What's your What's your major? 那 What's your major? Five. Why doesn't Mary like walking through the street? Five. Why doesn't Mary like walking through the street? 那么 like 后面就是 doing something 啊，喜欢做什么事情。Five. Why doesn't Mary like walking through the street? Like walking. 那么从街上走过去什么节奏啊 ？Five. Why doesn't Mary like walking through the street? Through. Through the street. 我们以前听过这个句话，叫做什么呀 ？It's very Boring. It's not interesting to walk through the street. Besides, it's very cold. We look at the B part of the dialogue. First one, I was nervous in class. Nervous, 紧张的，一上课我就紧张。我们来看一下语音点。The first one, nervous, 那紧张的。我们知道它的名词应该是 nerve。N E R V E 表示神经啊 ，nerve。下一次 headphone 啊 ，headphone。呃 ，phone 呢就是和说话有关的，比方说这个 microphone， 微的那种能说话的什么麦克风 ，headphone 头上的耳机啊 ，headphone。那么耳机也可以称之为 earphone，ear 啊 ，earphone。identify 这是一个比较重要的动词，请大家注意了。F Y 呢，一般来说是个动词的后缀。那识别、鉴定、认出一个人的身份 ，identify。那么名词一个人的身份怎么说啦 ？identity，identity， 常常缩写为什么 ？ID 嘛，一个人的身份呢 ，identity。那么 identify， 这是动词，还有一个名词呢，就是 identify。Identification, 识别这样的一个名词 Identification, 你要知道它和 identity 还是有区别的。那么身份证叫什么来着 ？I D card, I D card. 学生证呢 ？Campus I D card, 校园里的身份证啊。Campus I D card. Next one, ah, probably, 可能的 probably. 副词，形容词就是 probable。那么可以相当于相当于呢 ，possible, likely 这样的词。Joanna, put on, 穿上，戴上
。那么你可以说穿上衣服就 put on， 还可以怎么？只戴上耳机啊之类的 put on。Keyword， 这是我们平时经常会见到的关键词。什么时候最常用这个词呢？就是大家写论文的时候，前面都要有个摘要，是不是？而且摘要常常要求你把它翻译成英语。下面 keywords 关键词有什么什么？比方说研究、探讨，还讲关键词 keyword。May I do？ 我们刚说完中心思想。那么基本的结构 ，You don't have to, you don't have to， 相当于 You needn't do something， 你不必做什么事情。You don't have to. Here are， 那 Here are 什么什么东西在这里面啊？给你 Take it easy， 这是我们学过的，表示别紧张，慢慢来。那 Take it easy。啊，我们看一下下面的背景知识。嗯 New English 900 is a series of textbooks for adult students of English as a second language. 这是大家比较熟的一个教材，叫新英语九百句儿啊，英语九百句儿。It's a series of 是一个什么样的？一系列的 textbooks 教科书 for adult students。它的对象适用于什么样的学生 ？Adult 成年的学生，学什么的呢 ？Of English。As a second language, 是把英语作为第二语言的。那么英国人肯定不会学这本书，是不是 ？It is a revision of another set of textbooks entitled English 900, and was first been published in the United States in 1978. 首先，请大家注意这个词 revision， 它的动词是这样的 revise。动词呢，它就是指你可以用 change 这个词来解释它，但是它是怎么样的种变化呢？文字方面的。书了，文件了，方案了，它的修订叫做 revise 啊，是个修订。那么名词呢叫做 re revision 啊，修订版 revision。它是一个修订版什么呢 ？Another set of textbooks。那么你觉得这个 set 可以相当于前面的哪个词 ？Set of 就相当于上面的 series of， 它是另外一套教科书的修订版。那么这个教科书后面跟了个。定语过去分词 entitled， 我们知道名词前面加上 en 可以变成动词，就是它的 title 题目书名叫做 English 900英语九百句啊，所以叫 New English 900。And it was first published in the United States， 最初是在九八年美国出版的。嗯，下面看一下这个表达法 ，take it easy。Here means don't be nervous, relax. In other cases, it may also mean don't work too hard, take things easy. It conveys the same meaning. 那么 take it easy 什么意思啊 ？Don't be nervous. 别紧张或者 relax， 放松。In other cases， 在其他的情况下呢，它也可能指的是 don't work too hard， 工作不要太累了，不要太卖力气了啊。Take it easy， 慢慢来嘛，不可以 overwork， 劳累过度。Take things easy 呢，跟它的意思是一样的 ，convey 传达的同样的意思啊。Take it easy, take things easy。我们来听第一遍。Paul, I'm nervous. Why? I'm always nervous whenever I put on the headphone. But you can enjoy some music first. The music is so nice. Yes, it is. But when the dialogue begins, I can't catch a word. You don't have to catch every word. Try to get the key words. But how can I identify the key words? Those words that tell the main idea of the dialogue or are repeated several times in it. Well, probably you have to tell me the main idea first. But. Good morning, class. Here are your books. New English 900. We'll take lesson 12 today. Now, put on your headphones and keep your books closed. We'll listen to the dialogue first. Paul, I'm nervous. Take it easy, Joanna. Now let's listen to the questions. Question number one. Question one. Where are the speakers? Question one: Where are the speakers? 我们今天练习的主要就是特殊语言句啊，它特殊语言词是，你看后面的选项就应该猜出来，应该是 Where are the speakers? 这两人在哪儿说话 ？Where are the speakers? 
Question two. When does she begin to feel nervous? Question two. When does she begin to feel nervous? When does she does she begin to feel nervous? Because we, this sentence's question is, I'm always nervous in class. Now, when does she feel nervous? 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 When Question three. What does the man think it's important to do? Question three. What does the man think it's important to do? 特殊名词是 What does man think? Ah,、uh, what does the man think is important to do? 那么根据这个男的观点，重要的事情要是干什么呢 Put on the headphone. Listen for keywords. 听出这个关键词 Catch every word. Catch. 很形象，抓住是不是？也可以相当于什么呀 ？Understand. 比方说 ，Sorry, I didn't catch you. 不是对不起，我没抓着你，而是什么呀？没听懂你的意思。Catch every word. To repeat the keywords. 重复关键词 Number four. Question four. What is true of key words? Question four. What is true of key words? What is true of key words? 那么对于关键词的陈述，哪个是正确的呢 ？The other ones that begin the dialogue, 开始对话的词儿叫 key words. They're often repeated, 被重复的词叫 key words. They have nothing to do with the main idea. Have nothing to do 是跟什么？没关系，和中心思想没关系。我们根据常识应该知道，它不是 key words. They are in New English 900. 在这个新英语九百句里面。Last one. Question five. What is the probable relationship between Paul and Joanna? Question five. What is the probable relationship between Paul and Joanna? 那么就是我们最常见的一个题目。What is the probable relationship between Paul and Joanna? 什么关系？ Classmates, 同学 neighbors, 邻居 teacher and student, 老师和学生 doctor and patient, 医生和病人 Now let's listen to the dialogue for the second time. Paul, I'm nervous. Why? I'm always nervous whenever I put on the headphone. But you can enjoy some music first. The music is so nice. Yes, it is. But when the dialogue begins, I can't catch a word. You don't have to catch every word. Try to get the key words. But how can I identify the key words? Those words that tell the main idea of the dialogue or are repeated several times in it. Well, probably you have to tell me the main idea first. But. Good morning, class. Here are your books. New English 900. We'll take lesson 12 today. Now, put on your headphones and keep your books closed. We'll listen to the dialogue first. Paul, I'm nervous. Take it easy, Joanna. Paul, I'm nervous. Why? I'm always nervous whenever I put on the headphone. 好，我们来看一下第二道问题。Question two. When does she begin to feel nervous? Nervous whenever I put on the headphone. 什么时候开始紧张啊 ？When I put on the headphone. 那么在说的时候用了一个 whenever， 每当，无论。哎，我一戴上耳机的时候就开始紧张。I'm always nervous whenever I put on the headphone. But you can enjoy some music first. Now, what suggestion has been given by Joe? 什么什么样的一个建议呢 ？Paul, listen to some music to enjoy some music to relax. Is some music first? 
The music is so nice. Yes, it is. But when the dialogue begins, I can't catch a word. You. 那么一句话也听不到，怎么说？听不懂。I can't catch a word. Can't catch a word. You don't have to catch every word. Try to get the key words. Question three. What does the man think it's important to do? What 最重要的事情是什么呢 Catch a word. You don't have to catch every word. 我们的确听到了 catch every word， 但是人家说了什么？你不必做什么事情，怎么说了 ？You don't have to. You don't have to catch every word. 所以它不是答案，而是什么呢 ？Try to get the keywords. Try to get the keywords. Listen for keywords. 它这个地方特意还强调了一下。Hey, try to get the keywords. But how can I identify the keywords? 那么这个句子是这个对话里面最难的啊。他问了个什么问题 ？How can I identify the keywords? How can I? 那我怎么知道哪是关键词啊 ？Identify 那么多词儿，哪个是怎么辨别出来呢 ？How can I identify the keywords? Identify the keywords. Those words that tell the main idea of the dialogue. Or... 那我们看一下究竟是什么样的东西叫做关键词。有两个陈述，第一个。Tell the main idea of the dialogue. Or, tell the main idea of the dialogue. 那么我们这里面呢，说了什么了 ？Have nothing to do with the main idea. 它是不对的。How can I identify the keywords? Those words that tell the main idea of the dialogue or are repeated several times in it. 第二个陈述呢 ？Or are repeated. Several times, 重复很多遍 Dialogue, or are repeated several times in it. 那么关于这一点呢，也需要大家说，比如说，经常我跟大家说，听的时候养成个习惯就是什么呀？要记笔记，是不是？尤其要记哪些东西呢？反复出现，那肯定是它的什么 main idea 或者 key words。另外一个呢，还有个规律性的东西，就是说，中心思想一般都是在什么？在前三句啊这样的一个地方出现，只要里面没有任何表示转折的词，没有 but， 没有 however， 那么它的中心思想应该在前三句出现了。另外一个呢，对大家非常有帮助的就是什么呢？它这个对话呀或者 passage 前面会有个小小的一个 direction， 比方说 you are going to listen a conversation between the student and a teacher， 他一般都会告诉你，你下面要听的对话是一个老师和学生间的对话 about 什么什么。对于这样的地方，一定要特别注意。你大致就会知道他说的内容，这个 topic， 这个话题是什么。这个地方千万不要错过啊。那么，此外需要记的就是什么呀？数字啦，人名啦，地名啦，反复出现的这些东西。Well, probably you have to tell me the main idea first. But good morning, class. Here are your books. New English 900. We'll take lesson 12 today. Now, put on your headphones and keep your books closed. 戴上耳机，把书合上，怎么说 ？Well, today. Now, put on your headphones. Put on your headphones and and keep your books closed. And keep your books closed. 使这个书处于合着的状态啊。Keep your books closed. We'll listen to the dialogue first. Paul, I'm nervous. Take it easy, Joanna. 那么最后一句说的是 Take it easy, Joanna. 意思就是什么呀 ？Relax, 别那么紧张 Don't be nervous. 那么俩人什么关系？啊？我们实际上听到的是三个人对话，一个是 Paul， 一个是 Joanna。那么最后一个说话的是什么呀 ？Good morning, class. 谁才能这么说呀？老师。哎，所以前里面的两个人是。Classmates, 啊，说明对话是在哪儿发生的呢 ？In the classroom. 那 the second part. Two or four step. Question number one. The conversation takes place in the morning. 早晨的。Two. One does not have to know every word to understand a dialogue. 
那么你呢，不必知道每一个词才能够理解这句话，不是每一个词都需要知道的。Number three, Joanna cannot understand even a single word of English. 那什么意思啊？一个词儿都听不懂。Number four, Joanna enjoys the music very much, even though she is nervous. 尽管她很紧张，但还是非常喜欢听音乐的。Five. Paul and Joanna are probably sitting next to each other. 可能是怎么做的 ？Next to， 挨着。Paul, I'm nervous. Why? I'm always nervous whenever I put on the headphone. But you can enjoy some music first. The music is so nice. Yes, it is. But when the dialogue begins, I can't catch a word. You don't have to catch every word. Try to get the key words. But how can I identify the key words? Those words that tell the main idea of the dialogue or are repeated several times in it. Well, probably you have to tell me the main idea first. But. Good morning, class. Here are your books. New English 900. We'll take lesson twelve today. Now, put on your headphones and keep your books closed. We'll listen to the dialogue first. Paul, I'm nervous. Take it easy, Joanna. Now let's try to find whether these statements are true or false. Paul, I'm nervous. Why? I'm always nervous whenever I put on the headphones. But you can enjoy some music first. The music is so nice. Yes, it is. But when the dialogue begins, I can't catch a word. 那我们看一下，他谈到了 music. The music first. Never I put on the headphone. But you can enjoy some music first. 他的建议是 ，You can enjoy some music first。那么这句话暗含推测的意思就是说 ，Joanna 并没有听音乐，所以第四个应该是错的。The music is so nice. Yes, it is. But when the dialogue begins, I can't catch a word. 那我说了 ，cannot catch a word。Catch 呢，这里面就相当于 understand。那这句话的意思 ，Joanna cannot understand even a single word of English， 和我们文章中听的到底是不是一个意思 ？But when the dialogue begins， 什么时候 ？When the dialogue begins， 那我一个字儿也听不懂。而那这里面的意思呢，他并没有说 When the dialogue begins， 他平时还是应该能够能够懂的。所以这句话呢，不是正确的。I can't catch a word. You don't have to catch every word. 好了，就说了 ，You don't have to catch every word。这个应该是正确的。You don't have to catch every word. Try to get the key words. But how can I identify the key words? Those words that tell the main idea of the dialogue or are repeated several times in it. Well. Probably you have to tell me the main idea first. But. Good morning, class. 说的是 good. Good morning, class. 那么第一个呢 ？The conversation takes place in the morning. Two. Here are your books. New English 900. We'll take lesson 12 today. Now, put on your headphones and keep your books closed. We'll listen to the dialogue first. Paul, I'm nervous. Take it easy, Joanna. 那么最后一句啊 ，Paul and Joanna are probably sitting next to each other. 哎，虽然文章中没有说，但是你想，你不可能跟离你特别特别远的同学来说话啊。去，我们看一下这一部分呢，需要大家掌握的。那么第一个，说你不必每个词儿都要听懂，怎么说 ？You don't have to know or don't have to catch every word. 哎。那么我怎么能知道哪个是关键词呢？我怎么能 ？How can I identify the keywords? How can I? 那么最后一个，别紧张。
Take it easy. The second one, Polly went to school. 那么这一部分比较简单了 ，Polly 人名了 ，Yet 也是这个姓下一个 stay， 那不经不正就留下来。Look up， 向上看。如果说 look up to somebody， 什么意思？ Okay, 去仰视才见嘛，表示特崇拜一个人呢。Look up to。好，背景知识看一下。In the United States, boys and girls start school when they are six years old. In some states, they must stay in school until they are sixteen. 那么，在美国呢 ，boys and girls 一般来说，他们开始上学就几岁啊？六岁就上学。In some states, they must stay in school until they are sixteen. 一直到十六岁的时候才毕业。Polly went to school when she was six years old. She liked her first day very much. Her teacher, Miss Yates, was very nice, and the other children in her class were nice too. But at the end of the second day, when the other children left the classroom, Polly stayed behind and waited. Miss Yates had some work to do, and did not see Polly at first. But then she looked up and saw her. Why didn't you go with the others, Polly? She asked kindly. Did you want to ask me a question? Yes, Miss Yates. Polly said. What is it? Miss Yates asked. What did I do in school today? Polly said. Miss Yates laughed. What did you do in school today? She said. Why did you ask me that, Polly? Because I'm going to go home now, Polly answered, and my mother's going to ask me. Questions number one: How old was Polly when she started school? 几岁上学的 Number two: How did she think about her first day at school? Think about 觉得自己自己上学第一天怎么样 She liked it very much. She enjoyed listening to her teacher. See, she liked her teacher, but not her classmates. 喜欢老师，但是不喜欢同学。She didn't remember what was taught in class. 不记得上课教什么东西了。Number three, why did Polly stay in the classroom after class? 下了课怎么还在教室待着呢 ？A. She didn't know the way back home. 不知道回家的路怎么走。B. She was waiting for her mother to pick her up. 请大家记住这个 pick up 这个短语，本来是什么意思啊？把一个东西从地上捡起来，那么这里面就是接谁，是不是？一般说下了班去接孩子，就 pick up， 开车去接某人，就 pick up， 等着他妈妈来接他。See, she was doing her homework. D, she wanted to ask the teacher a question. Number four, what is known about Polly's mother? 关于她妈妈的母亲，就是啊，不是关于 Polly 的母亲呢？哪一个陈述是对的 ？A, she didn't go to school to pick up Polly. 不去学校接孩子。B. She was interested in what Polly was doing at school. 孩子在学校干什么了？她很感兴趣。C. She had no idea of what Polly was learning in class. 注意这个短语 ，have no idea of 什么意思？不知道 Polly 在学校在班里面学什么。D. She wanted to help the teacher. 就是这样的几个问题。Number five. How did the teacher feel about Polly's question? 问了老师一个问题之后，老师怎么感觉的 ？He thought it was funny. 很滑稽啊 ，funny. She felt it hard to understand. A 指的是什么 ？Question. 觉得问题很难理解。She was not sure what Polly meant. Be sure. 她不太肯定啊 ，Polly 到底是什么意思 ？D. She thought it was nothing unusual. 这是一个双重否定吧？也就是 she thought it was something. Euro 是很普通点事儿。Polly went to school when she was six years old. She liked her first day very much. Her teacher, Miss Yates, was very nice, and the other children in her class were nice too. But at the end of the second day, when the other children left the classroom, Polly stayed behind and waited. Miss Yates had some work to do, and did not see Polly at first. But then she looked up and saw her. 
Why didn't you go with the others, Polly? She asked kindly. Did you want to ask me a question? Yes, Miss Yates, Polly said. What is it? Miss Yates asked. What did I do in school today? Polly said. Miss Yates laughed. What did you do in school today? She said. Why did you ask me that, Polly? Because I'm going to go home now, Polly answered, and my mother's going to ask me. Polly went to school when she was six years old. When she was six years old. Polly went to school when she was six years old. She liked her first day very much. Number two, how did she think about her first day at school? 第一天觉得怎么样 School when she was six years old. She liked her first day very much. She liked her first day very much. 那么 eight 指的也就是 her first day. She liked her first day very much. Her teacher, Miss Yates, was very nice. 那么包括喜欢什么呀？她的老师啊 ，her teacher was very nice. Now, what about her classmates? And the other children in her class were nice too. And the other children in her class were nice too. Ah, 也很好 It was very nice. And the other children in her class were nice too. Second day, when the other children left the classroom, Polly stayed behind and waited. Now, what did Polly do after class? When the other children left the classroom, Polly stayed behind and went. She left. Polly stayed. Behind. Polly stayed behind. Polly stayed behind and waited. Miss Yates had some work to do, and at first, but then she looked up and saw her. Why didn't you go with the others, Polly? She asked kindly. Did you want to ask me a question? Yes, Miss Yates. Number three. Why did Polly stay in the classroom after class? Want to ask me a question? Now the teacher asked, "Did you want to ask me a question?" 回答了 Yes, Miss Yates. Yes, that means I want to ask you a question. That is the reason why I stay after class. 想问他一个问题，应该选的是 last one. Ask the teacher a question. Polly said, "What is it?" Miss Yates asked. "What did I do in school today?" Now, what is the question? What? What? 什么助动词 Miss Yates asked. What did I do in school today? Should do 吗 What did I do in school today? 今天我学校干什么了 Now what did I do in school today? Polly said. Miss Yates laughed. 那么她的老师反应是怎么样的 Laughed. 那么 laughed 我们看一下她的反应，她觉得这个问题是怎么样的 She thought the question was funny. 为什么呀？你在学校干什么？还问我？ What did you do in school today? 那你开始说的时候强调 What did you do? 哎，你做了什么 ？She said. Why did you ask me that, Polly? So the last one, uh, why did Polly ask that question? Because I'm going to go home now, Polly answered, and my mother's going to ask me. Now, what does Polly's mother?、Uh, what is Polly's mother going to do? Her mother is going to, and my mother is going to ask me. Her mother is going to ask her what she did in school that day. 那么想问问在学校干什么了？那么看一下，啊、uh, ，这里面哪一个是对的？这里面只说了一句话关于他妈妈的。我回家，我妈妈就该问我在学校里干什么了。那么看一看，我们答案最后锁定在 B 和 C 里面。一个是 interested 感兴趣，一个是 have no idea 不知道。
那么大家会想了啊、哦，我之所以问呢，是因为不知道，是不是？应该是第二个。你可以想象啊，一个小学生啊，第一天上学，无非就学点什么拼音啦，什么天啦、山啦这种词。哎，你说你今天学什么啦？真的是他们是不是想知道学什么？只要只不过是什么呀？感兴趣 ，interested。这个地方呢，比较容易选错啊。A true or false check. Number one, Polish teacher and classmates were not so good to her on her second day at school. 这也是 second. 第二天上学的时候，老师和同学们对她就已经 not so good， 不那么好了。Number two, Miss Yates didn't know that Polly was still in the classroom. 老师不知道她仍然还在教室没走。Number three, Polly did not quite understand what she had done at school. That day, 他呢并没有非常理解啊，他这一天在学校做什么了。Number four, Miss Yates laughed because she liked Polly very much. 小时因为非常喜欢她。Five, Polly was going to tell her mother what she had learned at school. 她要再告诉呢，她妈妈在学校里头学什么。Polly went to school when she was six years old. She liked her first day very much. Her teacher, Miss Yates, was very nice, and the other children in her class were nice too. But at the end of the second day, when the other children left the classroom, Polly stayed behind and waited. Miss Yates had some work to do, and did not see Polly at first. But then she looked up and saw her. Why didn't you go with the others, Polly? She asked kindly, "Did you want to ask me a question?" "Yes, Miss Yates," Polly said. "What is it?" Miss Yates asked. "What did I do in school today?" Polly said. Miss Yates laughed. "What did you do in school?" she said. "Why did you ask me that, Polly?" "Because I'm going to go home now," Polly answered. And my mother's going to ask me. Polly went to school when she was six years old. She liked her first day very much. Her teacher, Miss Yates, was very nice, and the other children in her class were nice too. 那我们知道的第一天的情况是 the teacher was very nice, and the other students were nice too. 第二天呢？ But at the end of the second day, when the other children left the classroom, Polly stayed behind and waited. 那么第二天呢，并没有说他的老师和学生对他不好了。我们起码可以说这个句话在文章中没有提到，哪也是不可能的，这是错的。Miss Yates had some work to do, and did not see Polly at first. 第二个 ，Miss Yates didn't know that Polly was still in the classroom. Miss Yates had some work to do, and did not see Polly at first. Now, what did Miss Yates do at that time? She had. Yates、uh, had some work to do. Had some work to do. 有点工作要忙着 And did not see Polly at first. And did not see Polly at first. 开始没有看到那么第二个应该是 two. But then she looked up and saw her. Why didn't you go with the others, Polly? She asked kindly. Did you want to ask me a question? Yes, Miss Yates. Polly said. What is it? Miss Yates asked. What did I do in school today? Polly said. Miss Yates laughed. What did you do in school today? In the four first,、uh, Miss Yates laughed because she liked Polly very much. 对不对 ？Force. Mrs. laughed because she thought the question was very funny. She said, "Why did you ask me that, Polly?" Because I'm going to go home now, Polly answered, and my mother's going to ask me. My mother is going to ask me what I did in school. That means Polly was going to tell her mother what she had learned at school. It is true. 
And what about number three? Polly did not quite understand what she had done at the school that day. 对不对？不太明白这一天都做什么了，学什么了，对不对？应该是对的。如果他知道，就不用问老师了。估计太小了，六岁啊，做一天也不知道都教什么东西了。Another one, it might work for you. 那么 work 呢？还有什么意思啊？相当于 be effective， 起作用的。嗯，这个东西可能对你管用。It might work for you too. <coughs> 看一下 ，come up first， 那就表示呢，取得了第一名，获得第一名。Come up first. Intonation 则语调啊。我们一般都说两个，一是 pronunciation， 叫什么呀？发音，一个叫 intonation， 语调，就语音语调。Work， 注意不及物动词就是起作用，老百姓叫好使，管用。哎、Work。Follow one's example， 这是一个非常好的一个短语。Follow one's example， 那就是按照某人的样子去做。那别人就是你的一个 example， 一个例子。那么除了用 follow， 还有个非常好的词来替代它，那就别人怎么做，你就怎么做，就像。复制一样用哪词？复制 ，copy 啊 ，copy one example 也可以。Jane, you came up first on the listening test again. You must have your secret. Oh, there is no secret, Mark. But I do a lot of hard work. Well, I work hard too. Oh, what do you do? I copy each word I learn at least five times and try to remember its meaning. I take notes in class and I review them after class. Well, spelling and grammar are important, but listening is more important than that. Hmm? What do you mean? In listening, you must be able to respond quickly to what you hear. So, what do you do then? First of all. I practice reading the words aloud, trying to say them as accurately as I can. I listen to the tapes of each lesson and try hard to imitate the pronunciation and intonation. Anything else? Hmm. I also listen to radio programs in English and try to talk in English. I often go to English Corner, you know. Why are pronunciation and intonation so important? Well, if you can pronounce the words correctly, it will take much less time to respond to the information you hear, so you will be able to follow the tape. And I will find the test easier. Think so. That's not a bad idea. I'll try to follow your example. Good. It might work for you too. Well, I've got to go now. Talk to you later, Mark. See you tomorrow, Jenks. Question one. How did Jane do on the listening test? Question one. How did Jane do on the listening test? How did Jane do on the listening test? 听力考试表现怎么样 ？She did better than anyone else. 那就什么意思啊？比任何其他人都好，那她就是第一吧。B. She was again the second place. 又考了个第二。See, she did not have to take it because she was so good at listening. Did not have to. 又出现到这种结构了，不必参加这个考试，因为她在听力方面很擅长，就变成免试了嘛。Last one, she failed the test because she spent too much them, a、uh, too much time practicing. 你觉得这句话是不是有点矛盾呀？他说他考试没及格，因为他花了太多的时间在练习上面 practicing. Question two: Why was Mark talking to her? Question two: Why was Mark talking to her? Why was Mark talking to her? Mark 为什么跟她谈话呢 Find out about her marks. 想知道她的什么 mark? 有记号的意思是不是？卷子上记号是什么？分数啊，高分叫 high mark. 想知道她得了多少分 Practice speaking. 跟她练练口语 Ask for advice, 征求意见 Help her with her study, 帮助她学习 Question three: What does Jane not do to improve her listening? Question three: 
What does Jane not do to improve her listening? What does Jane not do to improve listening? 那么她在提高听力啊，练习听力方面哪件事是她不做的 ？Listen to the radio, 听广播 ，practice pronunciation, 练习 pronunciation, 发音 ，go to the English corner to 英语，英语角。English corner. Study grammar every day. 每天都学习语法 Question four. According to Jane, what is the first step to improving listening ability? Question four. According to Jane, what is the first step to improve ability? According to Jane, 那么根据 Jane 的观点呀 ，what is the first step to improve listening? 想提高听力，第一。第一步 ，the first step。第一个步骤也是最重要的。首先要做什么事情 ？Improving pronunciation and intonation， 提高你的发音和语调，语音语调。Be talking to native speakers of English， 怎么样？跟把英语作为母语的人谈话，那就是跟留学生了，跟外教谈话。但是好像不是每个人都有这种机会和条件的。See, going to the English corner often, 经常去英语讲。D, trying to remember every word she hears, 记住她每一个听到的词。这些实际上都是非常有效的办法。但是我们要知道是 first step， 第一步是什么？嗯、Question five: What is Mark going to do? Question five: What is Mark going to do? What is Mark going to do? She is going to give Jane a letter of thanks. 给她写一封感谢信 Pay more attention to pronunciation. 更多的注意语音问题 Study harder than before. Follow Jane to the English corner. 跟她一起去英语角 Second time. Jane, you came up first on the listening test again. You must have your secret. Oh, there is no secret, Mark. But I do a lot of hard work. Well, I work hard too. Oh, what do you do? I copy each word I learn at least five times and try to remember its meaning. I take notes in class and I review them after class. Well, spelling and grammar are important, but listening is more important than that. Hmm. What do you mean? In listening, you must be able to respond quickly to what you hear. So, what do you do then? First of all, I practice reading the words aloud, trying to say them as accurately as I can. I listen to the tapes of each lesson and try hard to imitate the pronunciation and intonation. Anything else? Hmm. I also listen to radio programs in English. And try to talk in English. I often go to English Corner, you know. Why are pronunciation and intonation so important? Well, if you can pronounce the words correctly, it will take much less time to respond to the information you hear. So you will be able to follow the tape. And I will find the test easier. Think so. That's not a bad idea. I'll try to follow your example. Good. It might work for you too. Well, I've got to go now. Talk to you later, Mark. See you tomorrow, Jane, and thanks. Jane, you came up first on the listening test again. Question one: How did Jane do on the listening test? Listening test. This listening test, Jane, the 成绩怎么样 Jane. You came up first on the listening test again. Came up、uh, first. 我们刚才已经讲了这个短语了哈。Come up first 呢，就是取得了第一名。哎，那么选的呢？第一名也就是什么意思啊 ？Did better than anyone else. Jane, you came up first on the listening test again. 而且最后还有个 again， 又一次的。You must have your secret. You must have your 什么呢 ？Came up first on the listening test again. You must have your secret. You must have your 
secret， 你一定有秘密，一定有学习的好办法。那么我们看看排除嘛，成绩他已经知道了，已经是第一了，是不是？那么 help her with her study， 谁帮助谁呀、啊？应该是 Jane 帮助这个 Mark， 哎 ，A 和 D 都不对<咳>，那么 B 和 C 呢？哎，应该是 C。Advice， 也就是想知道你的 secret 是什么，咱俩 share 一下啊。Oh, there is no secret, Mark, but I do a lot of hard work. Well, I work hard too. Oh, what do you do? I copy each word I learn at least five times. Now, what does Mark do? 看看 Mark 是怎么学习的。What do? You do? I copy each word I learn at least five times. 他用什么动词 ？Copy 就是抄，来，每个词都抄几遍呢 ？I copy each word I learn at least five times. At least five times， 至少抄五遍。And try to remember its meaning. And I try to remember its meaning. I take notes in class. Now, what does Mark do in class? Take notes and try to remember its meaning. I take notes in class and I review them after class. Now, what does Mark do after class? He reviews the notes he has taken in class. Okay, 再把上课记的笔记复习一下 Review. Well, spelling and grammar are important, but let. 那么根据这个 Jane 的观点 ，Mark 把重点放在哪两件事情上了？ Well, spelling and grammar are important. 第一个是什么？有 grammar， 还有一个呢？抄五遍的叫什么呀？你再听一下。Your class. Well, spelling and grammar are important. Spelling and grammar are important. 拼写和语法固然重要，但是。But listening is more important than that. 就怕后面有个 but listening is more important than that. 那么我们现在说的就是 listening test 嘛，听力考试。那么这里面就应该根据他的意思，就是说 spelling 和 grammar 不是最重要的。嗯、hmm? ， what do you mean? In listening, you must be able to respond quickly to what you hear. So what do you do then? First of all, I practice reading the words aloud. Trying to say them as accurately as I can, I listen to the tapes of each. 那么对于他所说的第一个做法，应该用哪个能概括出来 ？What do you do then? First of all, I practice reading the words aloud. Reading the word aloud, 朗读。哎，尤其是早晨的时候到操场上啊，大声的朗读那样的，即使读的不是很好听，也不要怕人家笑话。那么应该是哪个？这里面。Listen to the radio. Practice pronunciation, English corner or grammar. 应该是 B， 这是他做的啊。但是我们答案是他没有做的。Trying to say them as accurately as I can. 那么这里面有个表达法 ，as 什么 ，as I can， 尽我可能。他用的是 accurate， 尽我可能把它读的准确。As accurate as I can. Reading the words aloud, trying to say them as accurately as I can. I listen to the tapes of each lesson and try hard to imitate the pronunciation and intonation. 哎，他提到 pronunciation and intonation。那么这里面呢，对于大家来说也是很重要的。Imitate， 重点在什么？模仿。所以说，为什么有的同学就是说他的一个发音就特别漂亮，特别特别地道呢？就是在常听那种原声的东西，哎，他就进行的模仿发音出来的呢，就比较地道，比较 typical， 就比较重要。但他这里面 listen to the tape 啊，是听磁带的。现在啊 ，listen to the tape。Out, trying to say them as accurately as I can. I listen to the tapes of each lesson and try hard to imitate the pronunciation and intonation. Anything else? Hmm. I also listen to radio. Pro- I also li- also listen to the radio. A 也做了、mm. programs in English and try to talk in English. I. 那么关于听广播这一部分呢，实际上我建议大家，如果平时做这个听力练习的时候啊，最好不要听那种新闻，比如 VOA 的、BBC 的新闻，因为它这个东西。
太难了，太快了，跟我们平时的东西都没有太大的关系。大家可以选择一个难度适中那种小故事啊，有那种初级的、啊、中级的那种小故事来听，这样呢还有些趣味性。然后你渐渐的注意啊，把这个故事的选择的内容放在哪方面呢？比方说自然科学方面的。社会科学方面的、人文方面的这些东西，以后呢，这些东西可能以各种形式，不见得是听力材料，可能在阅读理解里面也会也会出现。选择这种有意思的、适合你难度的，否则呢，你找太难的东西，你听这个 VOA 你听不懂，你就会有种挫折感。那么这样的话会影响你的信心啊！一定要选择合适的东西，不太不太倾向于让大家听这个新闻啊。Anything else? 嗯、mm?。I also listen to radio programs in English and try to talk in English. I often go to English Corner, you know. I often go to the English Corner. I try to talk to speak in English. A B C 都做了，那么没做的就是最后一个。而且我们可以根据他说，他说 spelling and grammar are important, but listening is most important. 所以他是觉得语法不是说最重要的啊。And try to talk in English. I often go to English Corner, you know. Why are pronunciation and intonation so important? Number four. Question four. According to Jane, what is the first step to improving listening ability? First step. 那我们说 first step 也就相当于最重要的，是不是第一步？那么你可以根据呢 Mark 的问题来看一看哪个东西是 first step. Talk in English. I often go to English Corner, you know. Why are pronunciation and intonation so important? Why are pronunciation and intonation so important? 所以它就是第一步最重要的。为什么呢 ？Well, if you can pronounce the words correctly, it will take much less time to respond to the information you hear. 那这句话是怎么说的 ？Intonation so important. Well, if you can pronounce the words correctly, if you can pronounce the word correctly, 如果发音标准的话呢 ，it will take much less time to respond to the information you hear. It will take much less time to respond to the information you hear. 那么你在听到一个时候呢，反应的速度会更快。另外有一点就是什么呢？大家在记单词啊或者读课，一定要把这个发音弄准了。我们举个简单的例子，比方说 study。你如果平时发音总把它发成 study 的话，那么下次你在听听力的时候，每当听到 study 的时候，你根本就不知道这个词，因为呢，你听到的和你记的那个发音是不一样的，所以必须保证发音要准确。所以大家背单词的时候，一般都倾向于选择带 study 的那种比较好一些。So you will be able to follow the tape, and I will find the test easier. Think so. That's not a bad idea. I'll try to follow your example. Now, what will Mark do? I will try to. 按照你的那么做，怎么说呢 ？No, that's not a bad idea. I'll try to follow your example. Try to follow your example. 也就是跟你学，向你学习啊。Follow your example. It might work for you too. 最后一句话，没准这对你也好使呢。It might work. For you too. 那么第五题我们选什么？还要做什么事情？这里面还真没有说 follow one's example， 但是有 follow 是指跟着他去英语讲，不是这个意思。选哪一个？因为我们知道呢，根据 Jane 的观点 ，pronunciation 是最重要的。所以呢，按照他那样做，就是 pay more attention to pronunciation instead of spelling and the grammar. Well, I've got to go now. Talk. 我得走了，怎么说 ？I've got to go. Have got 就等于 have， 现在 I have to go， 嗯，或者是 I must get going。To you later, Mark. See you tomorrow, Jane, and thanks. 休息吧。